R&B money. At the time when I was around uh, Timbaland, he was doing real pop songs. And and I remember the day like it was yesterday, uh, they brought Bryson Tiller in the studio. This is before Bryson dropped Trap Soul. Mm -hmm. They was like, yo, you need to sign this dude. Tim was like, nah. And I looked at, I was looked at Wiz and I was like, that nigga is cold. Like, Bryson Tiller. So he was playing all the shit that he was about to drop. Yeah. Like the don't. Yeah. He was playing. He's playing it all. And I was just like, oh, this shit is so cold. So me and Wiz said, yo, we finna start this shit called 2090s R&B. So the 20 in the 90s, the 2000s, you know what I'm saying? And then the 90s of the R&B. So we was like, yo, we're going to just do R&B like the way we like it. And literally we started making songs that sounded like classic Aaliyah, classic Total. Total. And all that shit. Yeah. And then 2014, that nigga Bryson Tiller dropped Trap Soul and we was like, it begins. Like we knew like, oh man, this is the sound. Like this is what, we. his sound was a little darker because mm -hmm. you know, but it was the Trap Soul, but yeah. it was R&B and we was just like, damn, I didn't have a voice on t to Timbaland to be like, yo, bro, you're crazy. This is crazy. Right. You fuck but, around and got kicked out of the studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, and, and we didn't just talk like that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So so I didn't want to like say that, but I was just like, this is, yo, this you song is going to go. Yeah, yeah I heard it. heard it. And so I remember when we went, went back to Missy House and we went to Jersey to stay with Missy. And I was like, Missy, I'm, I'm working on my album. And she was just like, you need to let, you need to let Tim hear this. Because she was like, um... I think this will help Timbaland get his stride back with like with that with R and B. She she heard something in it, so I played a few songs for Timbaland, and uh, that was when he started working on Twenty Twenty Vision with Justin Timberlake. Mm -hmm. And like, I really do feel like I helped influence. We helped influence Timbaland to do some R and B on that Twenty Twenty Vision because like I remember he was just like, "Yo, this is crazy." He flew us to L A. to work, and we just we had a room. He gave us a room. Come on, man. That was beautiful. I was All like, you okay, need. We All got you need a is room. a room. Yeah. Nobody came in there. <laughs> we had a room, <laughs> though. Had a room. Yeah. I remember I saw James Fontenoy for the first time. I was like, Sensei. I, call, I always called him Sensei, and he came in and showed love. But like, we had a room in the back, and we was just like, oh, we here. Like, we we got our room. Tiana Taylor, that was the first artist I worked with. That was my first artist I actually worked with, was Tiana. And we, we did a song, man. Monster, bro. Monster. And, and I felt like Tiana, she was underrated. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. yeah, we got in with her and we did a few songs and I was like, yo, this is it. And yeah, it was just one of those moments where just like, I was around all of these people like Justin Timberlake in the studio when he's doing 2020 Vision. I'm just like in the room. If I felt like Lil Michael, like, what is that? What are you doing? Like, it was really, <laughs> it was really one of those moments where I was just like, I'm ready. Put me in. I wish one of these niggas would be like, Jazzy, what you got? Nobody, nobody was like, I was just like, yo, y'all, hello? It was the weirdest. I, I remember a few times I probably like definitely like cry, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I was just like. you wanted it. Oh, what is, like nobody's calling my name. Yeah. And um, Polo the Dunn, he hit me up. Cause I, I was kind of getting fed up over the uh, temple. I was like, y'all niggas ain't, y'all don't, y'all ain't pouring into me like I think y'all should. Mm -hmm. And Tim, Polo was like, yo, He's like, yo, come to Orlando. He got a Johnny Wright studio, that big compound. Yeah. And Polo saw it. Polo was like, yo, let me manage you. And I did Monica's whole first album. Uh, I mean, not first album, whole last album, Cold Red. I wrote that. And the her, entire album. Damn, near, I had like six Shit. songs on that album. Mm. And I did, I did the her single with I Lil hear, Wayne. I can hear uh, Paula right now. Josh, Josh, she yeah. shit. She yeah, shit. She 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 that nigga's his, cold. His, and he's been I cold. Say he knows this yeah, shit. Yeah, he yeah. knows nah. this shit. And he knows he knows he this knows, shit. Bro. He brought back like black he country. <laughs> so huh? Good. Now everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. Niggas diving in over there. Yeah. That nigga I remember that nigga cold. called me. I, I, nigga, I got one. I got yeah. one. Kane Brown, nigga. Kane, for sure. Nigga, I was he, around he about to take over the world, nigga. Yeah, that's it. For sure. For sure, for sure. Like, that was the that was when I got my money. Like, I got my, like, that was when I kind of, you know what I'm saying, got 
my your my, real opportunity. My opportunity, you know what I'm saying? A horrible pub deal. We ain't gonna talk about that. It, listen, horrible pub deal. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not talk about it? Let's We've all been it. there. <laughs> so it happens. Yeah, you know I mean. But then, so you know what I'm saying? Did, that, did you get more than 75? I got. You know, I did. I did get more than that, but like. Then I guess I'm the. I'm but, the low. I'm but, but, but hell no, <laughs> hell no. You did right. I wish I would have. Cause the pub deal that I your, got. What did you have? An MDRC. Yes. What was it? The pub deal was. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, and it's still. Oh my god. So the shit is. Y'all, y'all ready for this, y'all? Yeah. All right. I got the pub deal in 2015. Mm-hmm. When did uh, Kanye come out with uh? The album, uh, when when the the cover just didn't have no joints on it. Yeah, they have it was blank. What was that? What, what album was, yeah, that, was that? Just a bro? couple years ago. That was like twenty what? Yeah, the Yeezys album. When yeah. you dropped that, bro? Twenty sixteen. Yeah. All right, cool. Boom. All right, I got the contract 2015, 20 like towards the end of twenty sixteen. Kanye's a genius because he already knew that albums albums were about to be done. He knew that the streaming world was about to come crazy the mdr the, the the deal i was in said that no songs only one song counted but they all had to be on a cd on an album albums are extinct they about to be extinct in right. 2016 bro so that means anything that i did that was just going to go on streaming platforms was not going to be counted so i was going to be in this bitch forever my whole life how many songs though bro it was like seven songs Oof. Full song. Full, yes, bro. Like, Ugh. bro, I so can't. So that's fourteen. I mean, that's if you fourteen write the off whole the top. Top bro. line. If you write the whole. If you co-write the top line. Now yeah. we're talking about 21, 28. This is but the numbers at first keep it sounded up. cool. Because you only heard seven. But and then no, and not only that, I didn't know the album. The my. But you figured you could get it all done in one album. Not only that though, yeah, but not only that, <clears> it was a lot of shit going on with the lawyer. It was bad. It was. I got. I got swindled a bad. But that's when I learned. I learned a lot of shit from that. So you know what I'm saying. We ain't gonna go too crazy, but I learned a lot. So you so you feel like your lawyer wasn't? My lawyer your, was wasn't my my lawyer. I, my lawyer was given to me by somebody else that wasn't that that wasn't my lawyer. Uh-huh. So let's just say that you know they what didn't saying? have your best interest. They have my best interest. You know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, like I worked so hard. I was like, that's cool. But I, but that's the thing. I thought it was gonna be on. I didn't know the album part. Like I didn't know that it well, just had to be. You would, you couldn't have known that because yeah. that's predicting the future. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Right, and nobody knew that the future was going to be that crazy. Like, I mean, we except all, except for the people. They knew except that for the shit. people who knew on the other side. Yeah. The people right? on the other so side he, knew. So we we they saw sure iTunes knew, and we're like, okay, iTunes. Now we separating songs. Yeah. Now yeah. now you can get a song yeah. without getting the full album. Okay, this honestly, is none up. of this shit is mm. a surprise. No accident. It's all by design. But the people writing the contracts, right? They, they knew, knew was, bro. Right. They but knew. But you could. What I'm saying is that you couldn't have known. Yeah, and, I, and nobody told me. She's like, "This is a great contract. You should do it. We gonna do it." And you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, "Okay, cool. I need let's, and I needed some money. And you need when you desperate, that's what happens when you desperate. Yep. That's why you never be desperate for money. Just sit down and just just don't go out. Just sit your ass down and eat. Ooh, yeah. I wanna be money.